I didn't want to waste them here. It is a, a bit overdue on this, but I have good reason. This has been very heavily requested for a long time now. What I did uh, when I bought starter pack after starter pack for this game, that was before I knew they were going to be like liquidated prices before Thanksgiving, basically. Otherwise, I would not have done that. Uh, the big incentive for me, of course, was the Amiibo Landers, you know, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and of course they have dark versions, and my fear, and it's good to play to this, you know, because if it would have turned out the other way, I'd feel great about it, was <laughs> simply, oh no, you know, the dark editions of Bowser and DK are gonna, like, go kerplunk, and you're not gonna be able to get them, and so needless to say, I don't remember how many starter packs I bought, I think it was six or seven, <laughs> and uh, I think one of those was a gift to my nephew. Uh, can't remember if it was Christmas or Halloween that I gave it to him. But anyway, I bought a lot of starter packs. And out of every starter pack that I bought, I never had a standard Spitfire, right? He's the leader of the superchargers. He's kind of like your go-to guy. Spitfire is to superchargers what Spyro was to Skylander Spyro's adventure. He would have been the Tree Rex of Giants. Uh, so on and so forth. So, kind of a big deal, the Spitfire guy. I don't have him. I don't. I do not have him in his standard form. Uh, the last thing I wanted to do, and I love the game. I love the franchise. That's evidenced by the number of starter packs I purchased. And I have Dark Spitfire, but I don't have Standard. I've got several Dark Spitfires, but no Standard Spitfire. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold out. Surely somebody's gonna be buying up a crud ton of starter packs and have an extra Spitfire and they're gonna go trade it in for a few dollars at GameStop and I can pick it up cheap that way, right? Not buy a, you know, eighth starter pack, basically. Nope, it's never happened. <laughs> and uh, they finally, and then of course my other thoughts were, well, eventually they'll probably release them as a single pack character, right? They have done that. I've actually seen it in person one time, but the time that I saw it, it was isolated, but it was one of those weird weeks where Skylanders weren't 50% off or buy two, get one free. There's been some ridiculous sales on these things, and any time, therefore, that you pay full price, you feel like an idiot. Now, usually we don't get to that scenario until, oh, maybe this time of year, May, June, July, sort of like the lull months, you know, between like, ah, oh, we're all done with this game, when's the next one coming, we need to know about it. That's when you start to see like the super awesome sales. These super awesome sales started before Black Friday. Uh, absolutely unexpected on my end. So needless to say, I've had trouble now tracking down standard Spitfire and single pack or a used one, which I thought that would have been the cakewalk, right? Because everybody's buying multiple starter packs. A lot of people shun Nintendo and they're getting just standard starter pack, dark starter pack, etc. in standard form. Nope. Hasn't happened. So I'm sitting here. I need to complete the game. And this is kind of one of the things that was holding me up. Uh, introduction. I thought I'd done an introduction on Dark Spitfire. I never did. Uh, so Dark Spitfire introduction and then base upgrades upgrade pass. I'm gonna do it It's the same thing essentially just with the dark version the other thing that bothers me I don't have hot streak like the standard hot streak once again dark hot streak Absolutely, we've got multiples. There's some in storage that I haven't seen since launch day <laughs> You know, I mean what do you do with like three or four of the same vehicle, you know? And uh, needless to say, uh, it is what it is. I don't really, I've said this for a while now. People keep saying, hey, you're gonna get the new Amiibo, you're gonna get this, that, etc." I'm out of space. I literally don't have space. I'm looking around me right now. I've taken Skylander storage to a new level. Uh, I've never made a video on this, but I've got like these, like military tote type things that you can put padlocks on they've got two latches they've got wheels on one side uh needless to say i mean it's come to that okay and uh it's i probably should make a video because it's actually very practical storage if you store them loose the way i'm doing it i fit six smaller containers in there but that story aside I just want to introduce the leader of the superchargers now, so my apologies, I don't have the standard one. Uh, if I ever find it cheap, 
you know brand new in box or used whatever it may be i'll pick it up and we'll introduce it but uh truth be told money doesn't grow on trees time is precious and uh, i want to complete the game we need to defeat chaos so uh, that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna introduce this guy the sad thing the other sad thing is i knew i hadn't like leveled up this one I thought I had like 14, 15 grand saved up for upgrades, so I'm gonna have to go get some quans for him. <laughs> so, anyway, you know the drill now that that's out of the way. Uh, what we're gonna do here, we will, uh, let's actually do the stats first. All right, so max health is 250, uh, speed is 50. I'm trying to compare this to standard, which I don't have, so I can't confirm, but armor would be 18, critical hit would be 10. Elemental power 25 according to the strategy guide which many times I find discrepancies here And I can't verify it because I don't have this character So if someone out there with standard spitfire can confirm this that would be great What is the advantage of dark spitfire? It looks like health wise. It's standard 200 versus dark spitfire at 250 so plus 50 in overall health uh, Speed is the same armor the same at 18 50 and 18 respectively critical hit uh, dark clocks in at 10 again ignore all those pluses over there so dark spitfire has a critical hit value of 10 standard spitfire 8 at least according to the strategy guide so uh, plus 2 critical hit plus 50 max health he looks pretty cool I have to say uh, the problem again though I don't have standard to compare him to which one do I prefer and why I don't know because we don't have it uh, to talk about or compare to but he looks very very cool so uh, speaking of that though he's fire element his slogan is fuel the fire again his vehicle is the hot streak you will see it very soon in these videos uh, bio though for you spitfire was on pace to become the fastest driver in the super skyland racing circuit with his lightning quick reflexes and nerves of steel this tech enhanced flame spirit was absolutely unbeatable but during the championship event at Skywinder Canyon he was illegally bumped off course by a goblin racer and sent flying into the canyon wall in a fiery explosion most thought this would put an end to his racing career but three weeks later he was back on the track more fired up than ever to claim the title unfortunately it was then that all of Skylands fell under the rule of chaos in his sky eating machine and the racing came to an end that's when Spitfire was approached by Master Eon with an offer that could get him back behind the wheel as the new leader of an elite driving team, the Skylander Superchargers. So, very cool background story there. Again, opens up a couple of possibilities, places I'd like to see, like Skywinder Canyon. Uh, also of note, uh, we have a Goblin Racer. I would like to see that. And uh, Tech Enhanced Flame Spirit. Uh, very very uh, interesting setup there so I apologize I do have a peppermint but we did our uh, Sunday smash live stream I started losing my voice so it's it's this or just I can't talk at all basically but uh, plus 50 health plus 2 critical hit is what we need to take from that let's take a look at his upgrades here uh, butane brawling is the primary attack press X rapidly to perform flaming melee combos Flash Fire will be our secondary attack. This is a dash attack. Very cool in my opinion. Press B to quickly dash forward in an explosive flash. After that, these base four, um, these next four will be our base upgrades. Again, prices are reflective. Ten Wing Sapphires, max discount of 20%. Flame Nato, this is a really cool attack. I know because I thought it sounded so neat way back in the day. I actually bought it for our standard. That's when I thought I was going to, you know, score standard Spitfire. Uh, and that didn't happen, but uh, Flame Nato, the tertiary, press Y to spin into the air and create a giant fire tornado. Up next, you've got Flame Nato Chasers, very nice uh, playoff of Storm Chasers there. Tornadoes now home in on nearby enemies. After that, we've got Flame Fury for 720. Hold B to charge up and then quickly dash around, hitting nearby foes. After that, Intensified Fury, boost your melee combo with a flaming spin attack. Alright, so, uh, top path here is going to be the Speed Demon path. 
Uh, become the fastest Skylander around and blaze through Skyland. So Mega Marathon is up first. Gain an even more powerful charge level when you hold B. Release to dash around the Skylands, damaging enemies in your way. As you know, anything speed-based I tend to be a fan of, and this is looking promising. Uh, Nitro Boost is after that. Holding B while fully charged will cause you to move extra fast and take less damage. Again, I wish we'd get solid numerical value increases for armor, but that's basically what that is, is when you're doing this, speed plus armor. So, uh, kind of works. I prefer the traditional format, personally. Uh, after that, it's Triathlete. Tap B after dashing around the world to dash around two extra times. So we'll have to see if that's literal or just a play on words there, because I don't know. Bottom path, though, it is the Fusion Path. Master the ability to combine the strength of a storm and the heat of a torch. Uh, sounds very comic book superhero-ish there. So you've got Flame Nado 2. Uh, this looks awesome. You can now have up to two Flame Nados out at any given time. After that, Fuel Injected Claws. Constant exposure to tornadoes have superheated your core, causing you to do more melee damage. And after that, no, no, this, this actually looks like the Sky Eater to me. Uh, just if you were to, like, eliminate the arms and everything, you know? Uh, surely some of you agree with me, but Volcanic Armor. Become resistant to damage by having super tough lava-like armor. Okay, this is a throwback. And I doubt that we see an increase in armor. If we do, it's probably minuscule. But I hope that we do. Again, uh, he is sitting at 10, plus 2 over standard Spitfire. So that would be very cool. Uh, Soul Gym, you get that with either path we decide to take. You've got the f Flame the Doing. Uh, flame Na Doing. Flame the Doing. Multiple ways you could pronounce it, but what exactly is it? Well, create a large explosion at the beginning of each Flame Nado. Okay, I'm cool with that. So back out here I think we've covered everything it's been a long time since we've done an introduction <laughs> you know when you get right down to it so we're gonna hop ourselves this direction and that's the Ooh, wish stone I need to do the wish stone live stream I've been doing my best to not like collect anything else for it uh, but that's our primary attack so do we have combos yeah they're sort of a one two uppercut you know one two uppercut you know type of a deal and then the flash fire, you press attack too, and it's, it is what it is. It's very cool. So, uh, primary attack, 24. 1, 2, 3. Was that a critical 36? It looks like, okay, I believe that is correct. I think each installment of that, 1, 2, and the uppercut, each register 24, critical being 36. Uh, so very simple to document, 24, 24, 24. Uh, but again, it is cool to have the uppercut in there. It's a little bit more realistic, kind of like you would see in a real-world scenario. Now, the dash attack, in addition to moving you, if we start here at the base of the stairs, we get basically to the top. So that's your distance factor, if you will, which would mean from about right here, we should hit the dummy. 30. So uh, note, we can go forward and through him, or I think if I stand here... Hmm maybe not yeah kind of it's not really like the thrust of an afterburner but I'm sure more times than not it's gonna split out about 50-50 uh, if you're like fleeing from enemies to get health or to try not to die or so your buddy can come in and save you or something uh, there is a chance you could do damage as you pull away but 30 to 45 will be the damage on the dash and again, you can basically, as soon as the dash ends, you can just start spamming again. Very cool stuff there. If we jump in the air, and we throw the X. Ooh. Not, that's a big punch looking there, right? So you, can all, you can get about two hits off in the air, primary-wise, anyway. Now, our secondary attack from the air, can we do that? You betcha. <laughs> that was pretty sweet, actually. Uh, so again, the way that works, jump up, dash. So it's almost right as he lands, he starts moving forward. But uh, hey, I will take it. Once again, this is Dark Spitfire, the leader of the 
dark Skylander superchargers, I guess we'll say, but uh, again, if I score standard Spitfire, I will introduce him, fear not, but uh, I felt like we needed to do this, get him upgraded, uh, get his quest taken care of before we sort of move on to the uh, final battles, if you will, with Chaos. So, Anyway, off camera, I'm going to be getting this guy some cash. Hopefully we can get enough to progress on. And once we do that, we'll check out his base upgrades. We'll take one down Speed Demon. We'll take our other Dark Spitfire down Fusion Path. If I find the third one, which I might have more, I don't know. But if I find it, I'll give it the path that we liked better. We'll have some fun, maybe custom paint that one. But uh, it, you kind of feel bad because it's a Dark Skylander. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you only like need so many of these things you know? but uh, that said we're sort of sort of set up here so you should see a heavy dose of Spitfire for those of you that have wanted it my apologies again it's so late but introduction base upgrades speed demon fusion path quest 1 quest 2 and the introduction of hot streak supercharge challenge and then we should be golden so uh, that said, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Is anyone else in my boat here? Uh, if not with Spitfire, is it, you know, panned out that way with another character for you? I literally had, I mean, I got a ton of starter packs. Uh, Xbox One, Wii, Wii U, 3DS, you know? And uh, I just, I never... Uh, the other Xbox One one uh, was for my nephew. I know did I give him it on? I might have got him the Wii U version actually. I can't remember now. <laughs> so, I did that because you know online play and everything. But uh, nonetheless, uh, let me know if you ran into a similar issue. Which character it is that's giving you trouble? Uh, and again, he is available in a single pack. I have seen it one time, but I've never seen it again. I've never seen him as a trade-in. I try to do things local to avoid paying shipping when possible. <laughs> it's, uh, like I said, strange set of circumstances. You know, you would think you would have like the standard and not the dark, but oh no, uh, the way it works out for me, we've got the darks, multiples, and not the standard one. So uh, it is strange. I know some people that found the golden hot streak at launch, they kind of had the same issue. They were like, wait, I have to buy another starter pack to get the regular hot streak now. <laughs> You know, so it's it is what you make of it. Again, my life will not be over if I don't have you know all the traps or all the characters. I would like to, but at the same time, I'm going to do so as economically as possible. So this just hasn't fallen into place. If it does, we'll get him introduced, rest assured. Even if it's at a really weird time or right before the next game, we'll still do it. So. Uh, that said, looking forward to seeing how his upgrades pan out. They look pretty cool, so uh, we will get on that. Thanks again for watching. Uh, Oneofwisdom.com, SkylanderClub.com for myself and Dark Spitfire. We will catch you back here for more Skylanders research. <laughs>